What's going on everybody? John here. Thanks for watching. Welcome back. And I want to talk to you today about one of the biggest wastes of money that a lot of younger people make and people that tend to be new to the Ford platform. And quite frankly, this goes for a lot of vehicles nowadays. And that is wasting your money on buying stupid, expensive, non-performance increasing coil on plugs. Let's get into it. So you may be asking yourself, what is a coil on plug? Well, typically you're going to see this use this abbreviated COPS, call them COPS. It's basically a part of the ignition system that sits down in the spark plug valley on your, on your heads. And so those are part of the ignition system instead of using the older distributor and you'd have the spark plug wires that go out and then connect to the top of the spark plugs. This is just a modern ignition system. And what happens over time is you'll tend to get misfires, they'll get old, and it's just one of those things where people tend to jump and try to find some performance game, gain out of these, and it's just such a waste of money. Now, over time, you are going to typically need to replace these, but I found years ago, I, I don't even think it was on a Ford form, I came across a way that you can actually clean them and it maybe costs you $30. And I want to show you how to do that today. In my opinion, one of the best ways to prevent misfires on a Ford engine is to go ahead and do preventative maintenance, like changing your spark plugs before the recommended interval, which is something that Ford ended up doing on the three valve engines. They changed the interval to 60,000 miles because of the breakage issue. But that's a good habit to get into, and the coil-on plugs on a rear-wheel drive engine are so simple to change because they're staring you right in the face. And so you basically go in, and I'm gonna show you how to clean it, and it'll basically cost you about $30 and say about a half an hour of your time. So before you go ahead and remove any of your coil on plugs, it's a good idea to use some compressed air or you can use your compressor and you're gonna to wanna to blow off all around the valve cover and the head where the coil on plugs are sitting on top. It's, it's very common for dirt and debris and pine needles and whatever to get thrown all in there and the last thing you want to do is open up your spark plug well and have dirt and debris dumping down in there. The spark plugs on these three valves are bad enough as it is. So I'm going to remove the PCV hose so that you can see better what I am about to do. taken out. We're doing this bank right here. There's an electrical connector that you're going to have to undo. It's just a push. It pops right off. And then once that's free and the bolt's out, just take the coil on plug out and make a little popping sound usually. And there it is. So this is the coil on plug once you've removed it. This is the main electrical portion where you're going to have the harness plug in. And then down here, this is what sits down in when you pulled it out. This is what sits over the spark plug. The main portion of the coil on plug tends not to fail. And my suspicion is, is when you see people put in a lot of eBay coil on plugs or those MSDs or just other brands, some of them complain of misfires. And I have a good feeling that, yeah, in that case, these probably go bad, but these are OEM. And so what tends to happen over years of usage is the boot tends to crack and then this spring, it's, for a, it's an electrical contact. And so there's a connector, a spade connector inside here in this hole, you can kind of see it. And so that gets corroded and that is what we're gonna be cleaning today. That is in my experience what has caused the misfires that I've experienced. What 
I would be doing is you see the connector and you just start to, to scrape. And you're going to see that stuff start to come off. And so you just work your way across the connector, just trying to scrape as much off as you can. And then what I do is after I've scraped it a bunch, and you'll see the color change because it's going to go from that corrosion-y blue-white to this nice copper look. I just spray that cleaner in there, let it dry off. I've even taken a Q-tip and I dab, you know, some of the debris out that won't come out. You can also use the compressed air to blast some of that out. And all I do is I just continue working it, trying to scrape off as much as I can until it's done. And it, it, it you know, it's going to take maybe a, a minute or two, maybe three per, per coil on plug. But just remember, an entire new one of these, including the boots, the spring, and the actual, you know, main part of the coil on plug, is at least 45 to $50 from Ford. And I don't know what other manufacturers are. And I just work it all around, get it right across the, the, this flat part here, the end of it. I get it all on the, the main top and bottom. That's all I do is I just take my time. And you'll see it come off. And so when it's done, it should have this nice this nice copper color and that's how you know you've got it clean and then do a final spray out and let it dry you get the box of the new boot and springs you'll open it up and they're obviously wrapped but you'll get these these are my old ones but you'll see you get eight boots and you're gonna get eight springs now these actually aren't in bad shape, but you can see they get dirty from sitting down in the engine. And it's just a good for, uh, for a few dollars. I believe everything cost me around $30. It's pretty cheap insurance to ensure that you keep the engine, you know, running strong. So with any sort of electronic connector, it's a good idea to use some dielectric grease. And this stuff goes a long way. You don't want to do a lot of this. Is your goal here is to prevent water and any sort of crap from getting into this boot because it's going down and the spring is it's protecting the spring so what I like to do is I just put a little bit of the dielectric grease on both ends that may be controversial I've never had a problem and so what I do is then I just insert it into the boot and kind of work it back a little bit. Some of you perverts may be making some jokes. The reason for doing that is you want to spread the grease on the inside so there's a good seal around the spring. So then, you know, I do that a few times. And then when you go to reassemble, once your coil on plug is dry, this direction doesn't matter, it's the same. So you want to press this in and you're going to hear it click down. You just press till it clicks. So now the spring is inserted over that connector we cleaned. And then after that, you're going to want to take the boot and you're going to slide it over the spring. And then it's going to go over this connection here. And there it is. So you've rebuilt your coil on plug. And what I like to do is I just like to clean off the top a little bit. It just looks a little better instead of being typically blasted in, you know, dust and crap and everything else. Maintenance items like this are some of the best ones to do because in my opinion, preventative maintenance should be uneventful. When you open this up, you're probably gonna see corrosion on that connector and you're looking at a future misfire, most likely. And so by taking the time, cleaning it and removing it and making sure that that surface is free from any corrosion, putting on your new boots and springs, you are basically removing the chance of having a misfire. Sure, it's possible that this could fail. I mean, it's hard to say, but in my experience, the part that goes is the spring, the boot, and the connector being dirty. So I think it's a great tip. I hope you guys enjoy it. I really appreciate those that have subscribed and are following along. It's really fun to make these and I love sharing some knowledge and, 
and we got some cool upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. We'll talk to you in the next video. Take care.